right, all right, all right, Aquarius. Why you keep them hoes so hilarious, baby? What is going on? I have missed you, boo. What is going on, my babies? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of November. A month to remember, most definitely, in the 2020 Show Me the Money season. All right, everybody got to show us their worth to be around us because you know 2020 has shaked rattle and rolled us all okay <laughs> has shaked rattle and rolled us all this year everyone is getting even everything and everyone everything is getting even and on balance it don't matter if it had to come good bad or ugly balance is coming we are being forced to balance right now so listen Aquarius, I want to give a shout out to every last one of my babies who has clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have given me any type of love and support throughout these years that I've been on YouTube. If you would like to book a personal or private reading with me, me, Rashira, only thing you need to do is click the About tab on my YouTube page. It has my pricing list. It has... um methods to um, connect with me have it be um, email or Instagram messenger I only do video readings so I do readings on Instagram messenger if you do not have Instagram messenger the best way for us to do the video reading is on Google Hangouts just hit me up on my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com I hope you get all set up with that it's a free easy app to download the only thing we need to do is exchange our emails and you already have mine which is scorpionreds at gmail.com so again if you have any questions or concerns about booking uh, just shoot me an email or send me a message on um, Instagram Messenger, okay? Um, if there are anyone that would like to um, show any love or form of support if these videos resonate with you and give you any type of clarity and you just want to send some love my way, the best way to do that, of course, is to check out the Amazon wish list because all of these decks that y'all see right here have all been donated to the page because of your love. So um, I appreciate more love and I love getting surprises of new decks because Amazon never tells me when y'all order it just literally shows up on my doorstep as a surprise so if you guys are in the feeling of gift giving and you want to send some support to my page to help my page grow check out the Amazon wish list um, and any other forms of support of course you know uh, cash app and PayPal all I don't care if it's a dollar two dollars three or twenty all forms of support is greatly appreciated and I, I appreciate I appreciate you guys um you know, just loving me and support me throughout this time uh, with the COVID shutdown. So you guys have been keeping me going. Anyway, enough of me running my mouth. Um, you know, we always say a prayer and we give thanks before we do anything, before we ask anything, before we receive any guidance. So bow your heads with me and raise your hands in the name of Jesus. Okay, uplift them. Father God, we are here for the sign of Aquarius, you know. We are here without fear, and we are ready to steer. Father God, we are in our vehicle. We are driving. Listen, we got a full tank of gas. We got new tires, and we got hope and faith that will not expire, Father God. So listen, we are on this journey. We are like driving past these villages and something is telling us to keep going to keep going to keep going and we will stop when we get that little tingle in our belly you know what i'm saying that little tingle in our belly it tell us we gotta pull over and go to the bathroom I, <laughs> why am i seeing this like i'm so channeling someone <laughs> why am i getting a vision of someone on like like someone just got in a car packed up all this shit in their vehicle and put the rest in storage and they're just like on a road trip and they're just driving i don't even think that they know where they're going it's like they'll stop whenever they it's like I, I, i'll stop but i know where i'm headed even though i don't know where i'm headed and i don't know where i'm stop but i know where i'm gonna stop i'll just feel my way through the situation so I don't know. I want to tell you guys to be careful on your journey. Just make sure that you, that all cylinders is always on a go. Just, I just don't want y'all to be in a place where you are running out of the assets that you need, running out of money, running out of gas. Because I really feel like y'all are in a place where y'all don't know anyone. And you, you guys are really on your own, just trying to feel your way to a place of safety 
and comfort. It's just, I don't know, but I do know. And I'll figure it out on the way. Like, that's what I'm getting. So, Father God, please give us guidance because it looks like someone has just literally just took life in their own hands and just got up and just left. <laughs> so, okay, so, like, I'm going to find new friends. I'm going to find new colleagues. I'm going to figure it all out. I just got to do what my heart's telling me to do right now. So, Father God, give us guidance for Aquarius on his journey in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. Hold on, y'all, because y'all got me. <laughs> Because, like, I'm just seeing everything, <laughs> like, flash before my eyes. Like, it's just like, yeah, bon voyage. Like, I need something new. It's like, I need a new destination. I need something new in my life. All right, so, Papa God, give me that for Aquarius for November. skills it just mm, mm. <laughs> I have yet to get this card I have yet to get this card y'all I'm sorry it's saying something about someone's decision making skills I, mm, mm, I don't know about that one I don't know about that one let me see <laughs> oh they just said they did look listen when I looked at this card and I looked in his eyes and he said, you know what you about to get yourself into, don't you? All right. You know what you about to get yourself in. Okay. All right. Don't say I ain't warn you. <laughs> like, you know. Damn well what you doing. <laughs> you know <laughs> what you doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. What is this? The Wheel of Fortune. This is good, though. The Wheel of Fortune is good i i mean you made you made the correct movement and look and look you see how it says north south east or west i'm trying to tell you it's like shit i don't know i'm on motherfucker like ooh, that was like look y'all think i ain't about to get the fuck up and move shit like yeah right listen i'm about to pick north south east or west like i'm about to do what i gotta do right now shit but again, it's like, you know what you about to get yourself into, don't you? Ooh, why they say someone's doubting your gangster? Ooh. Motherfuckers was really sleeping on your gangster. Like, you wouldn't just get the fuck up and just say, Tally ho. <laughs> Tally ho. <laughs> why you telling motherfuckers, Tally ho? Be safe on your journey. I wish you best of luck. <laughs> Ooh, I just want to flip these cards over right now to see what it's saying. And it's like I already cheated because I was supposed to lay that face down, but I just couldn't resist because I'm like, I need to see this. I need to see this card. So, I mean... I feel like you're taking your destiny in your own hands. It's like you being forced to change in like a positive way. Um, not being scared to like reach out and like define your own definition of yourself or where you want your life to be. It's like I define me. I define my future. You know what I'm saying? I define what what's freedom to me. I don't really care about who's sleeping on me and stuff like that. Like, I feel blessed. I feel covered. And I feel fortunate. And I'm about to move forward. And I'm about to take life into my own hands. Like, I'm the captain of my own fate. I'm the master of my own destiny. And I know every time I say that in Victor's thing, I always, like, mash it up. I always say it different every time. But it don't matter. I believe it is. I'm the captain of my fate. I'm the master of my own destiny. I want to say the sun in the reverse just popped out. And so you couldn't see things clearly while you were here. Um, 
it just wasn't a sound state of happiness. Um, I want to say that there, there was family. Uh, other than like the safety and security net of family, which sometimes they can stay or go in your life as well. <laughs> I'm so serious about it, but I just felt like you just couldn't see things clear where you were at. Like you, you needed to create your own vision of life and what you consider life and what you consider happiness with that sun in reverse and also I, I feel like there was like a, a lack of positive masculine energies in the environment that you're at to me the sun is represents the masculine energy the moon represents the feminine energy so I'm feeling like intuitively like Aquarius just felt it guided to move like I need a new destiny. I need a new destination like I'm not happy here it, 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 The only thing that makes me happy here is family and I'm cool with being separated from that So it's just my time to go like I don't know why everybody's tripping I, I don't know why everybody's doubting me thinking I won't get the fuck up and leave like I'm the fuck on like in the more y'all keep doubt with me and try to make it seem like I won't leave like that's why I'm like shit <laughs> shit you know what you about to get yourself into is like keep on telling me what I won't do and I will show you exactly why you should never tell an Aquarius what an Aquarius won't fucking do like man before you even look up I'll be halfway down the motherfucking road you got me fucked up you sure got me fucked up. And that's why I don't want to be here anymore. Because y'all always talking shit. Y'all always doubting me. Telling me what I'm not. Like, no. It's no. 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 I need somewhere where I can see clearly. Look, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Listen. Mm-mm. Something. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, it's a shiny day. Ooh, and then and then they just said someone someone your mother and your aunt's been getting on your nerves. You see how these two women is sitting up here trying to coach and tell this 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 woman, you know, trying to tell Alice what the best thing is to do. You got the you got the the red queen and the white queen. Are these twins? Y'all got twins in y'all family? Like is your mother a twin? I feel like this, like these are twins, like aunts, like the, the the sisters are twins, like your mother's a twin or something like that. I feel like your mother is the more cool headed one. Your 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 auntie is a rebel, but for some reason, even your auntie is like on your mother's side with this shit. And you like, man, here you here come both of y'all bitches with the bullshit, man, man. Listen, I'm leaving. I don't care what y'all talking about. I don't give a damn about what y'all talk about, what y'all think is best for me. I am so sorry about it. Y'all, please go. Leave me the f <laughs> Leave me alone. Let's follow right here on the side where the Wheel of Fortune is. Listen, you got the five of clubs. So something could have propelled you towards your future. This is a change in location due to job advancement. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like you might have sold your business and now it gave you an opportunity to free yourself so that you can like really jump forward and take on a new opportunity in regards to success and career that you always wanted to do. You could have sold something off or traded your like traded stocks or traded your rights to your assets in the business so that you could go do something else. You know what I'm saying? It's like that shit is over with. I done did everything I wanted to do with that. Like, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. And it's like, also, I feel like it's certain luck and certain conditions around you have changed and you manifest, like, new doors opening like, I, I feel like someone wanted to change their career and finally move towards a passion. And it's like, I finally get to go. So why y'all saying something? It says, something ca something comes at me like a jack-in-a-box. And up I go like a skyrocket. Like, something, like, this is like a tower. Like, something that you did not. This is a positive tower. With the Wheel of Fortune. Major Arcanist. This is something that you wish to come into fruition. And it did. You know? Um... I definitely feel like it took time with that number 10. It was a process. You know what I'm saying? It, it was something that you had to come into completion with 
before this was set for but like as soon as you made your mind up and you closed that chapter you closed whatever door to whatever the fuck it was like it was like the green light like you just went off like a rocket like she just start popping off for you and you just like nah right now you like shoo <laughs> shoo motherfucker popping off like this man i need to get the fuck out of here like this is like it's like you would be a fucking fool not to take these signs as it's a time to go. You like, shoot, these motherfuckers just called me for this job down in Atlanta and you think I ain't about to go? Fuck, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all go ahead and keep talking. Listen, you and auntie keep talking all this shit trying to tell me what's best for me and what. Look, I, the whole time, they don't even know, like, you already got your ticket. <laughs> like, you already bought your ticket. Like, as soon as these people contacted you, it was like shit's a go. It was just like, I'm not even, I don't even really have that much happiness here to hold me. Other than my family, like, what else do I have to look for here? Like, I'm gone. Bye. Look, a clock time. A clock time. Like, mm, time, pressure, in a rush. This thing did not happen quickly. Like, this was divine timing. Like, there was no rush to do this. I want to say you probably planted that seed and put the thought of that shit down because you already know that you pray for it and you put good intentions on it and you started focusing on other shit. And, like, right before you know it with this will of fortune, like, something came into fruition, like, I don't feel like you seen this shit coming. It was just like, oh, hey, Stephanie, did you still want to, um, are you still um, interested in that position for the manager, uh, blah, 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 and da, 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 da. Yeah, if, you, if you're available, we would like to meet with you, um, da, 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 and, you know, you can start as easy, as, as early as next week if you would like to. It was like, shit. <laughs> Like, this is the job I was praying for. Like, this is the opportunity I was praying for. Shit. Like, and it did not come in the rush for me. Like, I forgot that I even applied for this job. So, I'm moving quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm moving quickly. Like, time clock. Shot clock. Boop. Like, I hit it. <laughs> Let's get it. Time, pressure, in a rush. Listen. I feel like right now is the divine time and it's the correct time. And the first time when you apply for this and you try to go for it, it was not the right time. Okay? Thank God you did, like, put it to the side and worked on something else. You wasn't in a rush because when you allow things to happen naturally, it always sticks. It always sticks, y'all. It always it will never fail you. The two of swords in the reverse, like you are not even fucking around with this decision. I already know what I want to do. <laughs> so there's no confusion. Like I am very clear on <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. Peace. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like Aquarius is gone. It's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you already know what you about to get yourself into. You already know that you don't know nobody. You're aware. And it's like, Aquarius is not scared. I'm not scared to meet new friends. Like, I I want to say Aquarius job like be a loner anyway. Like, I have fun on my own. I do my own thing. I don't be pressed to be hanging around y'all like that. Like, it be months in between times where y'all don't even fucking see me. Or I don't even be wanting to talk to y'all anyway. I'm not the type of person that is, like, really touchy fingy filly clingy uh codependent where i need to be around you i need no like i feel like this aquarius likes a lot of self time likes a lot of downtime so it just made it easy listen the chariot emotionally moving forward being very confident like i'm set in my new ways in these new days, in this new sleigh, baby, come on now. Listen to Hermit. Listen, you see how they, do? you see how Alice is having to wave by and, and with sadness and tears and shit like that. Like, damn, you really going? Yeah, I told y'all, I was leaving. Okay, leaving. Hey. On that midnight train in Georgia, like not, it, I don't even feel like this person is taking a midnight train. Like they might be driving alone remember i was saying like a self road trip like you by yourself that's why it's like just be careful and just make sure that you have enough gas that you keeping in touch with people that you got triple a that you you know what i'm saying just make sure that everything is good so wherever the hell you feeling your way out 
and you going that you just are not short of resources because it's not like you can call someone and be like hey can you help me my nigga you like 7,000 miles the fuck away somewhere you know what I'm saying so how the hell I'm gonna send you help all the way over there like you gonna have to figure it out where you're at you see what I'm saying so and again, I st it's like a sense of irritation with these people. You see how he's closing his eyes like, oh, I cannot wait to get away from these motherfuckers. Like, y'all just... He just said depressed and miserable. Depressed and miserable. The five of cups. Like, I just told you, like, these people are depressed and miserable. It's like they're steadily reaching. Like, they stay reaching. Why do I feel like it's like people, they steadily... Be reaching, trying to find reasons to make you miserable about something. It's like, these motherfuckers stay reaching and trying to obtain your... They be trying to get some type of emotional gratification or satisfaction out of you by making you miserable. Like, reminding you of your old past failures. Like, you're supposed to be upset and still dwelling over that shit. I'm not dwelling over that. That's why I like get the fuck away from y'all. Like, why I just... Ugh. Miserable ass motherfuckers, like y'all miserable as shit, and it's like y'all, 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 y'all like to remind motherfuckers of their past and not of their growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, ugh. they stay reaching, stay reaching. Talking about the past, past situations, shit that they still upset about, woulda, shoulda, coulda. I don't want to be around that shit no more. I do not want to be around that shit no more. And, I mean, and, and shit, y'all could have been tired of trying to reach people. Y'all could have been tired of trying to reach people. And try to get people to understand your feelings. You know what I'm saying? How you felt about the situation. How you were hurt. How you felt betrayed, how you felt manipulated, how someone, you know, stabbed you in your back. And it's just like, you know what? I'm tired of talking, trying to explain myself to people. I'm just going to figure this shit out on my own. I'm just going to go through my own, you know what I'm saying? I need to go through my own mental process about this shit. But I got to do this shit the fuck away from y'all. And that's one thing I'm, I'm so sure about. Like, I don't, I just don't want to be around you guys no more. It's definite, definite move. It's a big move. You guys move. I'm going to say permanently. I don't think you're coming back home. Mortality again. Like, you're thinking about how important life is. You know, that like, there's no gray area. It's either you happy or you depressed. You see what I'm saying? It's like no fucking gray area. You know, I, I like my life. Life is too short to live to be around people that are constantly trying to remind you of reasons why you shouldn't stay in peace and should be off balance because this shit that don't even matter no more. No, I should stay in peace and I should most definitely be in balance. I don't want to be around people that keep reminding me of how I fucked up or how this is fucked up and that. Like, I'm so sorry about it. Life is too short and I gotta be happy and I gotta reach for success and for what's left in me. And I don't know why I feel. I do feel like there's someone possibly hiding. I want to say that there may be someone hiding. Some type of terminal sickness. I feel like there may be someone hiding. You're hiding. Your health. I want to say that there was a health scare for someone. And her lips are blue. It's like problems breathing like oxygen or something like that. Maybe y'all had a health scare or something. It could have been COVID or something. Um, where you just realize how important life is worth living for. This is the ten of air in the reverse. So again, this is have a life being too short. Because you gotta you have to make good of what's left of you. I'm serious. Why do I keep saying it? It's like what's left in me. I swear I feel like someone feels like they're sick. They said lupus. Is lupus like a joint or bone thing? Uh, I feel like I should know more about lupus, but I don't. I want to say lupus. 
I want to say y'all need to be a more of a warmer area, a more of a warmer climate. Um, I want to say it's like your bones and your joints be aching. And I want to say you were on the East Coast, you were on like a colder climate in the winter time. Like you need to be someplace where they barely have a winter. It, you know what I'm saying? But because you're from the East Coast, I want to say like you actually enjoy winters. You know what I'm saying? Like you like having the little cute coats on and the boots and everything like that. You don't mind it being cold, but not that cold. You know what I'm saying? I want to say that you might have... It says someone had failed surgery. They just says they couldn't take something all the way out of you. It's like they couldn't remove uh, all the cancer or something. Something. God, uh, listen. Only take what resonates. Only take what resonates. Because I don't feel like that's for everybody. But at the same time, I really do feel like there was some type of health scare. Or there was some type of... Because um, you got to look at it. Like when you got people that would not allow you to live in your new truth. And who you are. And how much you've grown. And you surpassed whatever the fuck mistakes that you had in your yesteryears, that can bring you a lot of stress and a lot of turmoil, a lot of mental turmoil. You will go into this hermit mode right here where you just like, man, these motherfuckers just will not let me go and just let me grow. You constantly want to remind, you constantly is still reaching and reminding me of shit that like hurt me from years ago. I don't want to talk about that shit no more. Stop trying to reach and get like an emotional response. I'm sorry, because I keep seeing this little reflection thing right there. Like, it's like, I don't want to talk about that shit no more. I don't want these people to be able to reach me no more like that. It's like, it's making me sit. It was giving me some type of stress. It was giving me some type of anxiety. And that's why this ten of spades in the reverse, like ten of spades. But yeah, ten of spades in reverse, it's like... I'm cutting that shit out of me. Like, I don't... I just don't want to be reminded of that no more. Like, that's no more of a part of my reflection. Um, those days are over. So it's like the, the, the worst days are over. It's, it's like... Mm -mm. No. You thought I wouldn't leave. It's like you thought I wouldn't leave and that's why I'm sitting up here looking at you like you must be simple because I can show you better than I, I can ever run my mouth and talk to you about what I am or what I'm not going to do. And I'm definitely not going to sit here and be running my mouth to someone that um, clearly, you know, needs to be shown that I, I don't run my mouth about shit. Period. Period. Like don't, don't take anything that I say for a joke. If I say I'm going to do some shit. I'm going to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes down to my vitality and my health and my wealth. Nah. Nah, you should never take anything I, I say for a fucking joke. Because I'm so serious. I'm serious as a heart attack. What is this? The tin of water in the reverse with the clothes. So again, like this is like a, an emotional breakup, a divorce, a severance of ties. Um... A break it down of assets, removing uh, yourself permanently from a situation that was like emotionally unhealthy for you. You did feel like it, you were out of luck at this point in regards to um, you trying to emotionally move forward. It's, I'm best left alone. There's no more time to be spent here. You know what I'm saying? was too much pressure. Maybe we were in a rush. You know what I'm saying? I am seeing like um there could be someone that's bisexual or in a LGP a LGBTQIA um relationship, the same sex relationship here. Um I am getting that I feel like someone doesn't want to they don't find happiness in same sex relationships anymore. Um you know I feel like I tried it, but 
I'm just not comfortable in that type of situation anymore. Like, I just, I, it, it doesn't result in happiness no more than anything else does. I feel like it's all about companionship. It's all about familiarity, familiarity, well, I cannot never say that word, familiarity with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, things could have moved quickly. And it said non-familiar counterparts. It's like I wouldn't hit and save seven in space. This is a tower moment. Hold on. It says, don't go splashing paint all over me like that. Don't go splashing paint all over me like that. It's like, don't be getting me dirty. Like, it's like someone. This is something like someone spilled something all over you and you weren't prepared. Like. Like, you literally walking out your door to go to an interview, and here go this asshole done spill some orange juice all over your goddamn shirt, and, like, you literally only have enough time to walk out the fucking door. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, this person just... I'm not going to an interview like this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you just fucked up my chances of me being able to get a new job. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just... It's, ugh. it's like every time I try to get, I try to do something to propel myself forward, here y'all come doing some dumb shit, getting in the way, so I can't go where the fuck I'm going. And that's why I don't want to be around y'all. It's like, you can't even blame self-sabotage because I'm actually trying to do something here with some momentum. I'm trying to receive some type of results out of this situation. But here the fuck y'all come splashing shit on motherfuckers, not watching what you're doing, not watching what you're going. Like, no, y'all are doing this shit intentionally because y'all think that I'm bullshitting like I won't fucking leave you. No. No. Like, the more and more I stay here and I'm talking to y'all, I realize we don't have nothing in common. Nothing in common. Nothing. I don't even want to be like my mother and my fucking aunt. Like, I love them to death, but I don't want to be like them. Falling, the unknown. Listen, you are drifting away and out of this place. Like, you just want something that you've never seen before, something that you've never experienced before. You would like to have new colleagues of a more positive mindset and people that want to actually see you being the best person that you are. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. That's all I can tell you. It's just, I just don't want to be here anymore. Descent, momentum, change. I told you. You have been drifting further and further and further and further away from your current state of existence or wherever it is that you're currently staying, whatever your environment is. Look at you. Even when you're around your family, you're still not happy. Like, you're not even active in the conversation it's just like they're talking to you but your head is in a whole nother fucking world like you were drifting in a whole nother dimension thinking about what the unknown would look like if you would just get in your car and fucking go like for a matter of fact i feel like that is what made you get in your car and just go like you just got in your car and just took off because it's just like i feel like i'm falling i feel like i am just drifting. I'm not in a happy place being around these people. I can't even focus. I'm not even listening to what the fuck you're saying. Only thing I'm sitting here doing is imagining myself 15,000 miles away from here, living in fucking California, living in Texas, living in Arizona, living in Nevada. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Eating cactus salad or something. Like, get the fuck. I don't... Look, the Six of Swords in the reverse. The Six of Swords is when you've already made your mind up to go somewhere, but there's something causing some type of blockage and delay. And it could be somebody else that's doing it. Like, it could be someone talking you out of it to come back home. Because typically, the Six of Swords is someone that is not resisting change and they're 
mentally sure about moving forward and actually getting some assistance to help them along the way and as you can see there's like an old lady in this boat with her so it could be like a relative or someone trying to still pressure you to come back home because I want to say that you're already gone but they're trying to get you to come back home yeah the queen of cups is your mother and I tell you it's your mother and your father didn't I tell you it's your mother it's your family it's your family it's your mother and it's your family they're trying to convince you to come back home because home is where the heart is no it's not <laughs> me talking to you and your your crazy ass sister my aunt y'all the ones that made me decide to leave because I look why why y'all why y'all why y'all just like fucking with me just leave me the fuck alone like y'all thought I wasn't going nowhere I had to show you better than I could tell you that I was so now you like listen I'm already gone just like <laughs> All that shit is over. Like, it's over. Like, I'm not coming back. I would see y'all on Christmas or on vacations, holidays or something. But listen, I, I gotta get away. I had to get away from here because y'all, it's too stressful being around y'all sometimes. I just needed something new. I can't have something new. I can't take a new job opportunity, but I gotta stay in our local area. I can't move. Like, no, nah, y'all not about to. No, 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 no. All right, so since I don't already went into my my bag on the other uh reading let me go ahead and give y'all some additional guidance with this because i mean i feel like y'all on y'all way y'all did what's best for y'all shit if aquarius listen why i say aquarius why you be leaving them delirious you did leave people delirious look the sun and the stars the sun and the stars like you are focusing on like new beginnings the sun is like new beginnings happiness the stars represent faith and hope you know what i'm saying being high spirited moving off of intuition high thriving gifted like spiritually gifted growing like you feel like you are high thriving high vibing like you your talents are being acknowledged you're seeing the accolades for all your hard work like Everything that you've been wishing for is coming through. And I want to say, like, your health is taking off. Like, things are doing better for you. You can see it. Like, you're not looking all pale and dry. And, like, you're hydrating. You're drinking a lot of water. It's not that you don't love your family. It's just that I'm not, I'm just not one of them type of people that I feel like I got to be up under y'all. Like, I don't have to live in the same state with y'all to, to love you. Like, I love you. But... Y'all drive me crazy sometimes. Like I, it's I, I'm not trying to be confrontational or anything. What is this? Perception. We just have different perception of life. Like I just like my peace is not your peace. Like that's I'm okay with not being around y'all all the time. I'm okay with living thousands of miles away. Like that is what's wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like. God, y'all give me, listen, psychic development, like, listen, the ugly duckling grew up to be a swan, like, I don't need y'all no more to, like, be there every beck and whim, and just, like, I, I'm, listen, I'm growing every day, every day I'm getting smarter, and I'm learning how to trust my own intuition, y'all just have to trust me, and just love me. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's at a distance, even if it's at a distance, you, you I can't expect that every single body in the family is going to stay in the local area. I'm not in no harm. Like my business is going good. My health is actually looking better. Why don't look y'all come and visit me? Instead of y'all telling me to come home. Y'all come and visit me. Like, I have enough space. I have enough room. Mom, you can tell dad or your boyfriend or whoever. Y'all come on. Like, it's not that serious. Like, just chill. What's the um, closing advice for this Aquarius? Like, that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. And now they're playing, um, get it together. If you want to heal your body, get it together. If you, you want to heal your heart. So, it's like, 
this person, y'all listen to that India Ivory, get it together. And sometimes it's, it's love, for, for this Aquarius, it was love situations, it was family situations, it was an overall environment that needed to change for this Aquarius to help this person heal their body and, and even like the place, it's nothing coming out. Okay, what is this? Okay. So this is the two of wands. I feel like you made the best decision, and I and I I see why this turned around. Uh, I feel like you've made the best decision and a choice for you and somebody else. It could be you, a new love partner. Um, you could have moved for love. You know what I'm saying? Um, could be two people that are very passionate about each other, but y'all just lived at a far distance, and y'all wanted to be together. You know, you wanted to be together. I mean, sometimes you have to set your sails far. And you got to learn how to drive your own ship and learn how to drive your own boat. And that's what you did. So you made the choice that was best for you so that you and someone else that you really love, the child world could come together. And it doesn't even, it don't even have to be, it could be you and your child. You might have did the best thing for you and your child. To give y'all a new safe existence in a new world. Something with peace and harmony. So I had to change my world for me. I can't live my life for you. I live my life to please me. That's it. And that's all, folks. Listen, the three of hearts is at the bottom. There's someone that is heartbreak, broken, distraught by your determination to leave and for self-growth. But... They have to go through their process with that. That's not for you to worry about. And I don't think that you're worried about it. Aquarius said, do it look like I'm worried about it? Shit. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. The ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. I had to listen to my intuition. I'm growing. And it's showing. Amen. Aquarius, this has been you reading. Listen. Show up and show the fuck out, Aquarius. I'm gone. Peace.